It's that time of year, everyone. It's spooky Halloween. And I live in Australia, and most people don't really get into it over here. Like, trick or treating really isn't a thing, apart in, like, you know, maybe some communities get together. But I love Halloween. And so, what better time than to recommend to you guys some great Halloween JRPGs? Not all of these are going to be horror or even scary or spooky, but I, they sh they fit with Halloween. They fit with Halloween, I promise you. But they definitely do. I mean, look. Look how spooky she looks. Alright. Well, here we go. Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters for PlayStation 3 is a very unconventional visual novel. From the outset, you are probably expecting something like Shin Megami Tensei or Persona, but the gameplay is closer to a strategy RPG. You move characters on a grid and move into first person to defeat this spooky ghost. There are plenty of RPG elements here, and it's a great game for fans of visual novels. Speaking of Shin Megami Tensei, Devil Survivor Overclocked for the 3DS is an excellent installment in the series. If you've never played Shin Megami Tensei before, you are in for a treat. The battle mechanics revolve around capturing or befriending demons to fight by your side. They can evolve, you can fuse them together to create more powerful demons, and each one is just, it's just random how you actually befriend them. You're going to need to like experimentation. This game is fun, don't let anyone tell you different, and it's also cheap. You play as the creepy, sexy swamp witch, and for some reason you don't like the forest witch, even though those two things seem like they go hand in hand. In any case, the gameplay is an action RPG similar to Diablo, except the story is way better. I'll be honest, I'm pushing it here recommending this for Halloween. Admittedly, it is not as creepy as Majora's Mask, but it's called Phantom Hourglass. That's gotta be creepy, right? Corpse Party Blood Drive is the first actual survival horror JRPG on this list. The story is definitely worth the journey here. It is its strongest point. In fact, this is the last installment in this particular series. It was created in the late 90s as a free-to-play game and was so popular that a whole anime series was created and fans were making love letters to it left and right. And that is what this is really, a love letter to old school Japanese horror games. We're on a roll now, the second proper horror game. Well, at least Fragile Dreams tries to be a horror game. It's not exactly scary, but the narrative is worth it. You find yourself alone. Where is everybody? How did you get here? Okay, actually that does sound pretty scary. Okay. I... Look, I own an Xbox 360 and an Xbox One, but what do you want me to do? Japanese just don't like Microsoft consoles, apart from when Microsoft gave them all that money at the start of the Xbox 360 lifecycle. So, like, this is the best I've got. Infinite Undiscovery? I mean, the, the world is pretty creepy, maybe. Fallout 4? Not even Japanese. I'm sorry, that's about the best I got for you guys on for Microsoft. There has never been a better time to not be sure about whether you are attracted or scared by a freakishly tall witch that uses her hair for clothes and has guns attached to various parts of her body. Bayonetta isn't exactly scary, but there are definitely some very dark tones here. It's an absolutely excellent game for the Wii U and it's the only way to play the sequel. I'll admit it, I'm grasping at straws here. 
Is Lost Kingdoms a game fit for Halloween? At the get-go, it doesn't look like it, but I can never get past the creepy undertones of this game. Almost every locale just looks downright spooky, and the music doesn't help the situation. I have no idea if this is what they were going for, but they created a spooky world. The card-based action battle system is also crazy fun once you get the hang of it. And that wraps up Halloween for me guys, hit the like button if you liked this video, hit the dislike button if you didn't like the video, comment down below, share this with everyone you know and love, subscribe if you love me and you want to hear more of me or see more of me, I will love you back, and if you really want to be my best friend ever, you can use the Amazon links in the description to pick up any of the games that I just went over on this list. You can also sign up for Audible and get some free audiobooks, and that really helps support my channel. Thanks guys, and I'll see you all soon.